A discounted customer promised me leads, but never gave them to me. What do I do? Ah, it's a great question. We'll talk about it today. Hi there, I'm Angela Brown, and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question, and I get to help you find an answer. Now, today's show is paid for by House Call Pro. They paid for us to do this show for you. So if you call them up or if you talk to them, thank them for this show because we get to provide you nice little tips every single day free of charge to you thanks to House Call Pro. House Call Pro is a service software that goes on your phone or on the computer, and it runs seamlessly in the background of your business, and it takes care of a lot of the administrative tasks that you do as a small business owner. And so it's your invoicing, it's your client scheduling, it's your dispatching of jobs, it's the customer details, it's the invoicing, the credit card processing, all that stuff. So instead of you hiring somebody, hire House Call Pro. It's a way better deal, and they never call in sick. Housecallpro.com forward slash Angela. All right, on to today's show. We have a house cleaner that wrote into the show and she asked this question. I'm gonna read it to you. I booked a cleaning job at a set price that I'm now realizing is definitely too low for the work that I'm doing. I set it low because she promised she had friends and family that she could send me as referrals. But after eight months, she has yet to produce those customers for me. I wanna ask her for a raise, but I'm not sure how to go about it. Can you please give me some advice on what to do without causing friction between us. Okay, so this is a tough situation because lots of times people are trained to ask us for a discount by promising us things either they do intend or they don't intend to deliver. Now, whether she intended to give you referrals, I don't know. But we know that if you're eight months in and she hasn't given you those referrals, either she doesn't like your work or she's not comfortable giving you referrals, or maybe she just doesn't have any friends, okay? So from here on out, moving forward, and then we'll get back to what do you do in this situation. Moving forward, what we're gonna do is we are going to put results based on those referrals. So you get to the customer's house and the customer says, they're a prospect at this time, oh, if you'll give me a discount, I will send you lots of my friends and family as referrals. And you say, oh, great, I'm super excited and I would love all of the referrals that you can send my way. After, here's the caveat, after I have proven myself to you as a house cleaner, because I don't want you to promise things that I can deliver unless I can prove to you that I can deliver them. Is that fair? And they'll say, yes, that's fair. Okay, great. So let's take the referral thing off the table and let's focus right now on you and me. I'm here to do a service. Here's what I'm able to provide for you at this price. So what you did is you just removed that whole objection, right? You got rid of it because it doesn't apply in this situation. Now, if she has friends that she's gonna give you as a referral, I want them to be neighbors, okay? That's the next caveat. Your referrals must live in this neighborhood because this is where I work. If you're giving her a discount up front and it's for a referral that lives a thousand miles away, she can say, well, I gave you the referral. Well, yes, technically she did, but you can't work that referral because they live a thousand miles away, right? So it has to be a referral in this neighborhood after you have proven yourself as a house cleaner. Got it? Okay, then the next thing is after the customer has hired me for three months or more, then and only then will I give you a $50 gift card or $35 or whatever it is for your business, a gift card that you can either apply to your cleaning or you can give away as a gift to someone else, okay? So you're gonna give them a value, whatever that is, after, this is based on results, after that person that they referred to you has hired you because we don't want them to give you a referral, the person never hires you, and then they're expecting some kind of a discount or they're expecting some kind of a, a bird dog fee, which is a referral fee, right? So it has to be based on results. What you're doing right up front is you're creating boundaries because if somebody says, oh, I'll give you all my friends and family, what happens is they turn around to their friends and family if they do refer you and say, oh, use this line, she'll give you a severe discounted price. But the severe discounted price, what is that based on? Like how much money should you have charged more for that every single one of those cleanings, but you gave her a reduced price from here on out because she was gonna give you some referrals which she never gave you? Okay, so that, it's really weird. It has to be very cut and dry and it has to be based on results. All right, the next thing is, let's go back to what do you do now? All right, so what you do now is when you go into a customer's house, if you do offer introductory prices, that's what we call them is introductory prices. It's not a discount. I'm offering you an introductory price as we start this business relationship. Typically after three months, the price goes up. 
okay? So for three months, we have a chance at an introductory price where you get to test my services and see if I'm the right house cleaner for you. During that time, we offer a 100% money, money back guarantee if you are not satisfied completely with all of the work. So there's no risk to you whatsoever, okay? What you're doing is you're removing the risk. You're inviting yourself into their home. Please, will you hire me, right? But you told them on day one, the prices are going up. Now, in my company, we have a renewal contract that renews at the end of every year. And I tell them, I can guarantee this price that I'm giving you today. I can guarantee you this price. If you sign this today and you agree to this today, I can guarantee you this price for one year from the date that you signed it. And so if you decide to go with my service, I will not raise your rate for one year. At the end of the year, your price goes up. And at the end of that year, both of us will decide if we're still a good fit for each other. And so what happens is leading up to that year, people are like, oh my goodness, I've got three months left on the contract. How much more is it going to cost? It's never a lot. It's usually between three and 5% of an increase. But every single year, your rate goes up. So what you're going to do to this customer, you've already been with her for eight months, right? So I would go back to her and I'd say, hey, listen, you told me when I first started working here that you had friends and family that you would like to refer to me. And right now I have one opening on my schedule. Who would you recommend that you, that you know and I've been offering you this discount and we all know that at the end of the year, my rates go up. And so I just wanted to make sure that while you're still on the discounted rate, you kept your end of the bargain because you've been on this discounted rate based on the re referrals and recommendations you are going to send me. So I'm ready right now. I have an, an opening in my schedule. What, what does that look like? Who is that? And she might say, well, let me do that right now, right? Maybe she forgot. Maybe she's just been too busy. Maybe she made new friends in the last year. I don't know. But it's going to come down to you as a business owner being very crystal clear about your terms. Because if you don't have your terms and you're not clear about your terms, there will be customers. I'm not saying all customers are this way, but there will be customers that take advantage of you. And oftentimes it's not intentional. Oftentimes it's because you are unsure of your business policies. It also makes them unsure. And because you don't know what's supposed to happen next, neither do they. And so it's not often that they're trying to rip you off, but they don't know what they're supposed to do next either. And so if someone says, I would, I would like to give you ratings and reviews or recommendations or referrals or whatever it is that they're promising, there has to be a deadline on that. Great. Can I count on that today? Is that something you can give me today? Is that something you can do while I'm standing here right now? In fact, I have a pen and paper in my hand. I could actually write down their names and phone numbers right now. Hey, because you're pulling up your phone, is there any chance you could give them a call or text them right now and let them know that I'm at your house? and that I'm coming over or I'm on my way over or I'm in the neighborhood and could swing by and do a walkthrough? Is that something you could do right now? And so what happens is you're tagging them down to the promises they've just made. And so whatever it is, whatever it is, it has to be clear and it has to be an agreement of both of you so you both know what it is you're promising and you can both keep your end of the bargain. All right, so I hope that helps a little bit. If it does, please pass this on to a friend. If we've earned your subscription, please subscribe. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.